Well, it's the report desk, Africa. Thank you so much for staying with us. Now, the recent currency swap from old notes to new narrow notes in Nigeria has resulted in cash scarcity in the country, causing immense frustration as people are unable to go about their daily activities while businesses are unable to operate effectively. I mean, how do you explain that people cannot go, in addition to the fact that they don't have fuel, they can't get cash to operate, they can't use a POS machine, the, the POS, the ATMs, everything is not functional. However, the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefeli, assured Nigerians that banks will continue to accept the old Nara note after the stipulated deadline when he appeared before the House of Representatives and ad hoc committee following the growing agitations across the country over the current scarcity of the new notes. Anyways, we have this report that is now read from our studios. Do take a listen. The queues have become a common sight in the nation's capital, Abuja. Heated arguments are usually witnessed as citizens express their displeasure and visible frustration. I've been here since around 4 4 a.m. I haven't slept here. 4 a.m. Instead of us to be sleeping, we'll be coming to 8 a.m. around 4 o'clock to queue. You will stay, they will tell you 8 o'clock. When you keep to 8 o'clock, they will put money. Before you know, the line will be much. I've been here since morning, trying to withdraw just 10,000 naira. Since morning. When it gets to my turn, they say I should go and get tally. What is tally? They are giving numbers before you come and queue. This suffering is too much, oh. Look at the queue. It's terrible. I've been here since morning. So, like, approximately how many hours? Getting to five hours now. I'll be standing looking for 20,000 naira, my own personal money. Some of them say despite the queues, they cannot even access cash. Remember, you say you printed money, you printed how, how many, how many, how many, how many, uh, 500 have you been able to print? How many 1,000 naira have you been able to print? I'm not talking about 200. How many? The same money, you will not buy money. You buy 1,000 naira at the rate of 500 naira. So who is sitting who? You buy Nigerian money with the same Nigerian money. What kind of, what, how does it sound? It's a very terrible policy. I'm not sure they're actually ready for what they are trying to implement. The government, I'm not sure they are ready to do what they are trying to do because it's not working. The policy is not just working. It's not working at all. It has been very difficult to, hmm, from a poor resettlement, I'm coming to Area 8 just to get cash, and the cash that they're giving me is 20000 per transaction. From morning to night, there will be plenty queue from bank to bank, bank to bank. When it eventually reaches your turn, the money is over. You go to another place, you start queue the same way, you still reach your turn, the money is over. To the extent that they haven't bribing security officers for them to enter and get money. So if you don't have that money, you cannot bribe security officers to allow you to withdraw money. The extension by Nigeria's Apex Bank was supposed to reduce the sufferings of citizens. But from the line behind me, you can see that the queues have not reduced. Some of the residents we spoke to say they still find it hard to assess cash for their daily transactions. They want urgent solutions to end this current hardship. Three people. This is only Eco Bank. If you went there now, this is Net Bank. See, this one is Fidelity Bank. You see, everybody is tired. Who caused this? Nobody knows. I've been asking who caused this. If you want to ask me, who, I don't know the next person that I will ask. This is my bank. Since last week, they don't pay me. I'm not, I'm, they don't give me any money. Any bank, there's any bank that I, 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 that, that will be able to give me money. I now run out to my own bank, Union Bank, to see if I can be able to withdraw money. But I have not since morning, uh, since after 2, two o'clock. Even point of sale operators say their business is on the verge of collapse, while other citizens want solutions to the crisis. When you are collecting two two hundred, it's four four times that they will pay. You have to collect like five times, and as you collect for, uh, four times, four times that they are charging you thirty five naira. You have to pay like. Um, like, if you want to withdraw that 20 times, and now you calculate 35 naira per five, five times. So, if you call, they charge us for all those things, customer come, you charge them, they'll be shouting. You go to counter, they say they will, not, they will not pay you money, that you should go to ATM. So, government should please tell the bankers to be paying us from the counters so that we can get our money. Amadin Uyi, reporting for News Central. The sad, the sad, sad, sad story of what's going on in Nigeria at the moment concerning, you know, the swap of the old currency with the new currency.
By the way, the old currency being changed right now are the 1,000 Naira, uh, 500 Naira, and uh, the 200 Naira banknotes. Anyway, joining us to discuss this is New Central's correspondent, Dakbo Adigboye. I wish I could bring the entire studio or the everybody in New Central to have this conversation because it's, it really is biting on Nigerians very, very hard. Now, yeah. Dakbo, thank you for joining us to start with. Thank you for having me. All right. We, we're going to have this conversation together, all of us, because I know that if it's not affecting you directly, it's affecting somebody that I you I assure know. you there's nobody who's not affected. Now, there's a, there's, there clearly is ongoing agitation in Nigeria over the cash scarcity as mm. the Central Bank of Nigeria introduces uh, the redesigned Naira notes. Um, that, but before, I was going to ask what's your reaction on this, but let me ask, what is your personal experience on this before we even go to reaction? Okay, now, um, thank you for having me once again. I mean... Uh, just like many of the, uh, well, I say reactions we have seen in that particular report, my mm. personal experience is no different. I mean, yesterday I, I wanted to have, withdraw some money, and I remember going to a few POS points. That's uh, these guys you find under the umbrella, mm. you know, on the streets. And I, I think I visited about, yeah, I visited close to 10. And they were telling me for every 5,000 naira that I wanted to withdraw, they would charge, I think the least I saw was 500. 500. Some of them told yeah. me 1,000. Mm -hmm. I asked them why. They said they were paying money to get money from the banks. And that it wasn't really easy. I mean, this is something that used to be 100 Naira, right? When things were normal, mm -hmm. when things were still sane, right? So what does this tell you? That tells you the reality of every Nigerian right now, coupled with the scarcity of, you know, the fuel situation that uh, an average Nigerian faces almost every day. So it looks like somebody somewhere is trying to sabotage the economy. Mm. Honestly, um, I mean, to your first question, let's even look at the idea of the initiative, right? You would want to say it's pretty laudable. The CBN, of course, has the power to redesign uh, uh, notes from time to time, mm -hmm. as stipulated in their law, which they did. Now, the reason for this is number one. They said they wanted people who had saved money or hoarded money to bring it out. Great. Number two, they also wanted to see how it could also impact on the value of the Naira. Mm. And, you know, they, gave, they reeled out a couple of, 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 of reasons, which seemed to be logical. I mean, according to the, part of the argument the CBN governor gave, is that prior to this initiative, about uh, over 2.37 billion trillion Naira you know, was actually released. And uh, out of that 3.27 trillion naira, 2.7 trillion naira were in the homes of Nigerians. So the latest stats that the CBN governor gave is that since they started this initiative, right, they have been able to recover about 1.7 trillion naira that were hidden in people's homes, vaults, you know, in, uh, in soccer ways and we are a view. And we have seen videos of people bringing it out. You might want to say the initiative is, of course, yielding result. But I think the ex execution is very, very poor. And you know it begs to question mm. the intention of the original initi of the initiative itself. Yes. I, is, it, is it just to satisfy some personal interest because we are in the election period? Is that why you would want the general public? I mean, a lot of things, you know, are, are just in the mix right here. And people you know are, definitely have a, a right to ask so questions. So I'll, I'll tell you what, gentlemen. I'll tell you why this initiative doesn't seem to be making any sense. Mm. Yeah. So this looks like uh, a repeat of a situation that happened some, you know, a few years back where the government wanted to impose a ban on the import of certain goods. But they didn't have enough facilities to produce or manufacture their own, right? So... Like you said, this initiative seemed to be laudable at first, but when you're coming up with something like this, yes, you want to get rid of you know, the monies that people were hoarding, but then you, there is no alternative for the ordinary man, right? You're, you're, you're saying that you want a redesign to the narrow notes, which is fine, and then you also are saying that you, know, you want to reduce the, the money in circulation, but you're still asking people to pay to get a certain amount of money, although some people are still coming out to debunk this, but we know that it's true, uh, right? Uh, and, and then if people, if people are paying to get this money, what do you think happens when someone can, you know, do away? Therefore, you and I were having this conversation, mm -hmm. you know, some time ago, and you said that if someone can do away with, you know, with an amount, a certain amount of money, you can get the new money from the bank. So if the people who were hoarding the, 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 the old Naira notes decide to do away with a certain amount of money to get the new Naira note, what exactly is the difference? Mm -hmm. 
I mean, I mean go ahead. That, okay. Now, so, I mean, you, you've made a very salient point. So, right now, because of this lapse, you know, in the process, that's why you're beginning to see a lot of, uh, will I say, sh uh, shady happenings happening here and there. People hoarding the money, people mm -hmm. selling it, right? Some would even tell you that uh, uh, you, you need to part with a certain percentage. If you, do you want old or new Naira notes? If you want the old Naira note, this is the percentage. If you want crispy new Naira note, so it has become a racket. And it's all messy. And at the end of the day, it's making the entire initiative look laughable. I think the CBN did not think this process properly well. And that is why it's biting at. In some senior climes, the governor should have been held for economic sabotage. And that's tantamount to treasonable felony. Because it's not until you carry gun and you say you want to threaten the security of a nation. If you hold the economy of a nation to ransom, mm -hmm. which exactly is what is going on right now, both big and small businesses right now are suffering. People spending productive times in front of eight, uh, hours in front of ATM. The last time I saw this kind of cues was when I was in primary school. And that's over three decades ago. So what are we saying? Is this mm -hmm. progress? I, I, so I think right now, yes. right, if, you know, uh, uh, we, I mean, what to go by, 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 by the books, the man should have been called to order a long time ago. Yes, we know the Senate called and, and, and he gave an argument. But let's look at the reality on ground. People are suffering. Look at what we have on the screen at the moment. People fighting just to withdraw a few you know, uh, uh, notes from the ATM. Is this what we should be talking about a few months to the election in 2023? This is anarchy. So, and then let's even go back to the E option. They said they want the economy to be cashless. Please, how many IT brains do we still have in Nigeria when all of them have Japa? Mm. Right? Uh, uh, right now, a lot of people do transfer online. They don't get to see the alert until maybe moments after. Mm, Before, in the, in the, in the financial are, institution. Are worse right now. Yeah, in the financial institution. Like, I was just having Before, a conversation with someone. Right, the I, job I'm sorry of about 10 that. People, I'm sorry, Dako. But, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry, Dako. You know, yesterday, as a foodie that I am, I, I'm proud to admit it, I wanted to eat, right, just to have breakfast. It was a hassle because I, I tried to get someone to get me breakfast. They didn't accept the old currency, which was fine, although they had said that there was an extension. But some people don't accept it because they don't want to hold on to the money when the time for you know new currency mm. circulation comes around, which is okay. And then I couldn't get cash, right? I had to drive around. Like like you said, Dako, you went to Temple. I went to seven different places. Some people refused to give me the amount I asked for because they said that they didn't have enough money, so they were not going to give one person that much money. Mm. And then another person was asking me to pay extra to get the new cash. And then I got the new cash. I couldn't even make bank transfer so that I could hold on to the cash that I have. Someone just helped me to collect something right now. And I had to do away with the new cash I have because I can't make bank transfers. The banks are acting up. The, there's no cash in circulation. The banks, you can't make, like you have money in your account, but you can't transfer. Mm. It's just someone, like what someone said, this is a crazy time to be a Nigerian in Nigeria. I mean, I, 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 absolutely so, unthinkable. I just want to buttress on your point. Well, I, I, I know that. Okay, Bernard. Uh, yeah, I, I know that, you know, uh, we all have gone through different experiences and playing the devil's advocate here. Yeah? I think I think concerning for, for the uh, the governor of the central bank, this probably um, is one of those times when you say um, these are bad things that were done with uh, you know with good intentions. I must believe that there were good intentions behind this uh, particular gesture. But well, there was by, no by, preparation. By the I mean, the intentions um, are not questionable. But, but there was no preparation. I, I don't think I don't think it's about the preparation. I think it's about the timeline. I'm talking about the timeline, guys. So now, remember that the central bank had earlier set February 10th as a deadline following an extension from January 30th and 31st. 31st. Forcing, exactly, forcing many to deposit their old notes uh, to the banks, but struggle um, you know, with withdrawing new currency uh, with long queues at ATMs like what we just saw. Now, do you guys think that the deadline um, extension or the deadline set, whether extension or the previous one, was a good idea? I mean, the schools of thought that believe that Rather than set a deadline, let it, be, let it just be indefinite, right? Where people can it's swap seamless. their old notes for the new ones. And then after a period of time, when we see that the new notes are now in circulation, we can now uh, uh, completely put a halt to the use okay, of Okay, part the of the notes. argument, uh, uh, Bernard, part mm -hmm. of the argument right now is that, oh, to avoid a situation whereby, because this is the electionary period, mm -hmm. to avoid a situation whereby money is used to rig the election. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a pass mark. But again... You, you would also want to, like I said, the initiative isn't bad. It's the execution that is heavily flawed and problematic. Mm. So I'm asking the question again, and this is directly to the CBN. Are the new notes actually available? Thank or is you. it just a farce? Thank you for that, Dako. Right? So, 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 I, I mean, if it's I'm available, sorry, then I believe it's a situation of swap. 
It should be a situation of I take my money mm. to the bank and I get the new and then notes. you give me the new Thank notes. You. So, so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, so what I was saying, someone had said recently they even I'm said, sorry. okay, you're paying lower denominations. Dako, yeah. apologies, apologies, right? But yeah. someone had mentioned earlier that the 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 um the CBN should actually at this point come out and declare the amount of money that was actually printed for circulation because it's looking like. When, and that's why I said preparation, right? There is not enough money. The banks are complaining. The ATMs are complaining. You go to the bank, they say even they themselves don't have enough cash. The, the setting of deadline is not a problem. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's a problem because, to be honest, we're generally laggards in Nigeria. Let's face it. Nobody, if, if you leave it up to Nigerians, they won't use that new note. They will keep rejecting it because yeah, they're comfortable they're, they're using the old the notes, notes, right? Anyway. So setting the deadlines is not a problem, but you don't have enough money in circulation. You're setting deadlines. That's why from the get-go, it's been a no-brainer that that deadline was not feasible. Right, so setting the deadlines itself is not a problem, but you're setting a deadline and you don't even have the money in circulation. So, so again, again, playing devil's advocate, it's possible that the reason for setting this deadline was not exactly to have enough cash in circulation, but to withdraw to withdraw cash from circulation, such that remember that this same central bank governor has strongly been um, a crusader for um, electronic banking, for online banking. So there is the possibility that reducing cash in circulation. Electronic banking would now the use of electronic banking will increase. The only downside now is that Nigeria as a country is still not fully, um, let's say, fully ready for electronic I banking. I think, because Bernard, in the past few I think days, I know where you are going. Yeah, but in the past few days, but I think, I think the answer to that question cool. is pretty obvious. Mm. Do the banks have the capacity mm. to deal with the in magnitude of electronic transactions on ground? I think the question is evidently no. And to be honest, I, I, I made mention even, of something. I said putting... a lot of our IT brains have left the country yeah, that, that, and are living in droves. So the job, the the job the where 10 people are meant to do, mm. you find out that probably three or four, that's why you make a transaction in Nigeria right now. And before you get an alert, right, it takes like maybe uh, moments or minutes or decades. Days. Some <laughs> of these filling stations are complaining of failed transaction. Mm. That's why a lot of them are insisting right now that even after staying hours on the queue, you have to look for a way to get physical cash to pay. Mm. And you can't blame them because it's a business. So I think right now, you know, the, 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 the uh, uh, sabotage, so to speak, or the, the sharp practices you are seeing some of these agents do right now, the government, this, the, 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 the execution of this policy created that lag. And that's why people, it's a free for all at the moment. Mm. So for me, I just feel that, uh, yes, you might want to give the initiative probably an A, but the execution, an F plus carryover. Wow. And to yeah. be honest, yeah, let, me just, let, me just, let me just put lecture. this out there, right? Just like Bernard said, Nigeria is not ready for totally wiping out cash from being in circulation because... Mm. Let, let's face it, there are market women out there who will not collect your ATM card. And like, what business do they have with transfers? If you can't pay them cash, so that means that I will not cook food because there's no money in circulation. Let's, let's, let's be realistic, right? It's a good initiative, but is it feasible at this time? No. Okay, so, 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 so let, me give you, let me give you a real life situation I have okay. this morning. I needed to get something really basic as oil, right? So I met up with this elderly man and you know, I told him I didn't have physical cash, and he agreed to transfer. Do you know that my money hung for a while? I thought probably it didn't go. I made like double transfers to the man. And when I went back to the man to tell him that, sorry, I sent you this money twice. You know, it was a bit of a back and forth. I had to show him things I didn't really have to, like my account history. And all. Before I agreed that, okay, I'd make a mistake. This is just one person. Now imagine several Nigerians out there those that own businesses probably got reversal transfer after they had exchanged goods with strange cost with as strangers as customers who they never can trace and all of that. So I just feel that the, 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 the CBN rushed several things for whatever reason, and it's bringing the whole idea you know, to question as to the, 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 the competence of the initiative itself, and if at all, it should have even come up in the first place. All right. Then I, then, okay. I, I want to quickly wrap this up. Now, um, f finally here, we know that the elections are around the corner, right? And uh, for complaints and, and uh, for complaints about votes buying and the flow of cash during the elections, um, it let us say that this is one of the reasons why the CBN decided to withdraw uh, or to, to print new currency, uh, particularly in the high, high, three highest denominations 
1,500 and 200 naira notes because most likely these are the denominations that can be used for votes buying. If Benna. eventually there will be votes buying. Hold on, I'm going somewhere with this. Okay. Now, are we saying that if the CBN did this for that reason alone of elimination of votes buying, for this singular reason, could this not have been a good reason for um, um, changing the banknotes? Bernard, if that was the reason, then that reason isn't strong enough. Mm. As much as we are complaining of scarcity of Naira, we see where people throw it around in parties. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Not, in not, not, not in trikuzo, mm. in, in bundles. Mm -hmm. The question is, how do they get the money? I think when it comes to vote buying, we have agencies that are responsible to ensure that during elections, right, people don't buy votes. Mm. We have the police. We have the EFCC. We have quite a number of them that, you know, uh, they, are, they are saddled with that responsibility, okay. right? So if that was the core, you know, uh, idea of the CBN, you know, uh, uh, with this, and then, then I'm sorry, it's, it's not strong enough. It's not tenable. Mm. So I just feel that uh, I still go back to execution. The execution is really, really poor and has held the economy sabotage. Mm. Well, thank you so much, Dakwa, for joining us. I can see you spitting us a lot of venom. It's clear that you don't have cash in your hand. So, oh, I mean, <laughs> who does? <laughs> who does? Right? Just get away with my who cash and it's paining me. Who let, who let this one slide and hope that eventually the CBN gets it right, Nigeria gets it right, particularly because we are leading into the election. These are critical moments. Thank you once again, Dakwa. And thank you, Blessings, too. You, you, you know, you guys have actually waded into the matter. Let's hope things change very, very soon. Thank you once again.